is the most important thing. When we win, we make the fans happy. They are why we train. They are why we are here. So remember what we need to do. Be strong on the ball. Make intelligent runs. Be ruthless in front of goal. And own every moment. The time has come. You are ready. The fans are ready. Now, go show them why we are the best. Great strength there from Azar. What a run from Royce. Martial, hard and low. That is world class from James Rodriguez. Make them happy. Make them sing your name. When you play for the fans, that is when we win. We've heard a lot about the talent of this young man, Alex Hunter. He had a wide choice of clubs to sign for. Today his journey begins as he makes his Premier League debut. I haven't seen a kid coming out of the exit trials generate this much interest in years. I never expected anything like this. Yes! A goal for Alex Hunter on his debut! You're in the big league now. You have to raise your game. You need representation, you call me. Wow! Check this place out! <laughs> just don't get too carried away. It can disappear just like that. Life doesn't always give you what you want, does it? I'm ready. You'll get your opportunity, Hunter. Just get me out of there. Well, we might as well back this season in now. What was he thinking? I want to stay and fight for my place. I won't let you down. Alex Hunter, an outstanding goal. Welcome to the Premier League. This young man has everything. We're going to make history. Incredible Hunter! My name is Alex Hunter. You don't know me. Well, believe me, you soon will. Play it first on Xbox One with EA Access. Okay, so what's up guys and welcome back to uh, a FIFA 17 video. Not really welcome back, but yeah, uh, finally decided to kind of chat about this for a bit. So um, if I look at this in this direction, by the way, because my laptop is here, so that's why I'm looking in that direction. Um, also, I've literally just thrown anything on today. I've got the old, the old Arsenal top on today with the Rosicki on the back. But yeah, it's just regardless. Uh, also, if you see a tattoo, it's not a real one. Uh, I think it about getting it done. But yeah, it's just a bit of a trace uh, or a temp. I think it's called a temp, probably a better word. But all of that talk aside, anyway, we're gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking about FIFA 17. So you will have just watched two trailers. Now there's a gameplay trailer uh, that is based on the whole Alex Hunter thing and then there's the gameplay trailer that's based on like other parts of the gameplay mainly I think it's mainly focusing on uh, the addition of managers you hear Jose Mourinho's voice of course um, in that first trailer there and I think from what I've seen so far I did get on Twitter this morning I've just been on Twitter just to ask you guys your thoughts opinions on FIFA 17 and also what you would like to see as well it's very early in the morning actually so i have no replies yet whatsoever but um without a doubt some will come through in a bit and i will read them out to you guys but um what i was going to say was like with what i've seen so far i'm quite impressed now that going to the first trailer the addition of managers looks great looks looks brilliant we've seen um deli ali's game face in there as well if you want to go back and, and replay that so he's looking pretty good uh, they look like they've improved a couple of players as well uh, with partnering up with uh, Frostbite, something like that, are they called? Um, but yeah, they part partnered up with a new engine comp type company uh, that deal with graphics and stuff. And they are mainly getting involved now 
um, with the addition now of the storylines in career mode, the more 2K appro approach to career mode, which a lot of people now, EA probably feel like they can't win because we're saying, oh, well, um, you're copying off 2K. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what EA did, if they are adding storylines into career mode, which is what we've a lot of us, including myself, have been asking for for quite a while now, um, you know, they, they will be copying 2K because 2K also do that. So it, it is going to look similar. But at the end of the day, you can't help but feel that it's a good step in the right direction. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because you are stuck with Alex Hunter, but maybe you can customise his appearance, I'm not sure. Um, you're only able to see one version of him in that, but I don't know if, I don't I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure of what, what the actual case is there. If you guys know, because I know that there's been a couple of YouTubers um, and also Chewboy that's been live streaming some stuff, so if you know uh, anything that I don't cover or if you've got anything else to say, let me know in the comments down below because I'll probably make a little series out of this until FIFA 17 does come out or until we are uh, more of FIFA 17 is revealed to us, so uh, let me know in the comments down below like what you know you want to see as well um, and just, just to answer my further question, my question on Twitter earlier this morning, I basically said if you want to get involved in the videos, just let me know your thoughts and opinions on FIFA 17, what you've seen so far, what you would like to see in the future, um, and what you've heard is, is like, you know, rumours, rumours about FIFA 17, about what could be coming into the game. Um, so one rumour I've heard, which just popped up on Twitter actually, was I've seen this twice now, this rumor, and that is that um, there's going to be a kit thing in there. So in career mode, um, at the end of a, one season, you get a new kit uh, when you go into your second season in career mode, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, which is fantastic, and I would love that personally. Um, even if it's not true, then I think that's something that EA should bring into the game because I just think I I don't really want to say too much about Ultimate Team because I am more passionate about career mode i play ultimate team at the minute and i don't really see that much wrong with it if i'm totally honest i think for what ultimate team is i think it's okay um a couple of things i'd say with ultimate team are probably uh you know like the new the loan option um it's not the best and you know when you do the uh, online tournaments i would when you do a, uh, you know, when you do a season, and for each bit that you've, like, if you um, get relegated, you still get a bonus for finishing the season. If you manage to stop up, you get a better bonus, you know, and it go, the bonuses go up the higher you finish in the season. I think that should be the same with the tournament. So you go in the tournament, let's say you get knocked out first round, okay, so we'll just give you a thousand coins or 500 coins, depending on the difficulty of the tournament. Um, and then, like, because you know when like EA have been offering uh, team of the seasons in these tournaments, they those are the tournaments I'm on about. Because um, now you can make it all the way to like the final, and if you lose in that final, you've lost everything. You don't even get like you don't get a pack, you don't get any extra coins. It's just standard match coins all the way through until if you win in the final you win the prize of the tournament so i think adding more prizes into tournaments for different rounds even like i say even if you even if you crash out of that first round because what's frustrating for me is i've actually managed to win some of the tournaments i've won some of the free team of the seasons um the untradeable team of the seasons but yeah uh, one of the most difficult was hooth in my opinion trying to get him i spent so many of my coins trying to put a, a good squad, a, a good enough BPL squad together um, and at time after time I kept crashing out at the second round, third round, first round and so on. and I was really annoyed um, to just get the standard coins, it just really, I think that if they'd have given me like, especially when I reached a third, for I got into the final, reaching the final, you should at least get a pack or something, a gold pack, even just a 5k pack, just give us something back for entering the tournament, because I know some of the tournaments, like, it's just not players that if you pack, you're going to keep, um, so like some of the tournaments anyway, and it's like, it's just, it's just quite difficult to be honest, and um, I think they should probably change that, but I think the overall... I don't think Ultimate Team needs that much work though. I think just little bits like that, just basically in regards to Ultimate Team, just give us more back in games rather than just, yeah, 
if you if you get what I mean. Um, but that's pretty much all I'm going to say for Ultimate Team for now. But if you guys have got any suggestions, like I say, let me know in the comments down below. I'll go over them in future videos. I might make a little series out of this with you guys where we'll share our opinions, what we want, uh, what we'd like to see. And I can expand off that. I can try and get some GFX people to try and make that happen. And, and we can have a look at, at what it would possibly look like. Um... So that's quite good. Um, but moving on back to like the gameplay, we've seen the addition of managers now. That first trailer, we see uh, Jose Mourinho in there. Um, I've also seen Arsene Wenger, um, Klopp, and I think I saw Guardiola. I might be lying, but I, I'm pretty sure I saw Guardiola as well. But I've def definitely seen Mourinho, Wenger and Klopp. Um, so are all managers going to be in the game now? I'm not sure. That's going to be interesting to see. What is it only going to be the big managers, you know, at the, at the, at the bigger clubs? um again will be interesting to see and uh i think it's a good i think it's the right step again and it it's probably a long time coming yeah i think i think it was probably a long time coming but it's it's there now so you know we can't complain about it it's it's there so i'm hoping that this means that when you go on manager career that you get to create your manager and get to see him on the touchline as well i think that would look really good really effective um adds a bit more realism to the game you know just before your managers look in fifa 7, in fifa 16 you can see your manager on the touchline but it's not legit like Arsene Wenger, he changes appearance. Some in some games he'd be like wearing a tracksuit and stuff, which is not Wenger. Then in other games it's wearing a suit, but he's got like just different. Like sometimes there was it was like bold, and sometimes it wasn't. It was a bit bit naff, really. That was that I feel that if they're gonna do that, then they just shouldn't have bothered including the managers in the first place because it just didn't look real. Um, and before you were able to customize your manager, but again, only by like the skin color. I don't know if you could even change hair color. I'm not quite sure on that, but I know you could change skin color uh, if they wear a suit or a track suit um, or shirt. Was it shirt and tie as well? Is that an option? And then changing the color of the clothes. That was literally it. And there's not many options. There's like gray, black, blue. That's pretty much it, I think. Um, so yeah i think just having more options and in, in that respect to be good also while we're on while we're talking about creative players then so let's go back to career let's go to player career this scarding alex hunter for a bit your own player or even being able if you are if you can customize alex hunter i'm not sure but let's say your own customizable character uh your own customizable player in career mode why can't we put tattoos on them I mean, how many tattoo? How many tattoos? How many players today have tattoos? Let's be honest. It just, you know, it seems a bit silly that we can't add tattoos in the game. Better hairstyles are needed as well. It just goes without what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, I do think that while we're again while we're on the the subject of players' appearances, um, we're seeing a couple of more game faces in there. Obviously, Deli Ali has had his put in. Um, I'm expecting obviously Rashford as well. Um, we saw Martial as well in his uh, in the game, which is good because they didn't have theirs in FIFA 16. But when you think about that now, guaranteed that towards in next season, there's going to be another Premier League star that doesn't have his face in the game unless they do change that. So what I was thinking is, you know, when EA do the updates, is it every week or every month where you just do a quick squad update? Why can't they just add a new game face into the game? Because they do it with the newly promoted size in the Premier League. They don't do that straight away. That's another thing that annoys me. They'll release the game. Uh, this year, we've got Burnley, Middlesbrough and Hull that have come up to the Premier League, right? I think that's right. Um, so I think Burnley will have the majority of their players with the game faces in the game because they had they were in the Premier League uh, two seasons ago now, yeah? So not last season, the season before. So um, a lot of their players were done anyway. But what they did, what, what EA did, was they released the game and then a couple of months later, I'm not sure how late it actually was, but a couple of months later into the season, they only then decided to give uh, the newly promoted sides head scans. Why is that? But and surely if they can do that mid game with them, that says to me they can do that with somebody. You look at um, the main one for me. I have to say is uh, Gabriel from Arsenal, the defender. Uh, he 
didn't play much the previous season, but last season he played a lot more. He played quite a few games last season. And EA had then got to look at that and think, like, right, he's going to become a challenger for the first team now. He's seen a lot of action. So we should give him a head scan. And if they can do that midway through, you know, after FIFA 7, after, after FIFA's been released with other teams, why can't they do that with just, like, a, the odd player here and there? Um, I personally think that every single player should have a head scan. You guys might think that's impossible, but I really don't think it is impossible. If you've ever tried creating your own game face uh, on your like career pro or online pro, it takes about five minutes. Go watch Adriano's um, YouTube Adriano. Go and watch his videos because he makes like little funny videos with adding. He added like. KSI did Emma Watson, but he did he did somebody else. Uh, but he's a celebrity like that and puts their game uh, faces in the game. I think he did Donald Trump once, and that looked really funny. So I don't know. It's just for me that says that if we can do that off our laptops and PCs, you think about the equipment that EA used. I'm sure it'd take about two minutes there. So in a little update, just even if a player, Sami and Ashri, Aaron Ramsey. Um, Naturally, probably a better option because he's he changed his hair mid-season. So give it a bit of an update. Just add some more realism to the game, in my opinion. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands, but yeah. Um, I need to just make it a little bit, that little bit more realistic than, um, you know, what it what it is at the minute. Because there's one thing, I thought it puts me off um, playing the game sometimes. And it really annoys me because as a YouTuber, I get all the FIFA um i'll go in i'll start my arsenal career mode this year um and then after that's already started they that ea then decide to update other like put other head scans of the game with the newly promoted sides well i'm already mid-season through a career mode it's one of the most frustrating things so this year i want to see all of them done um and maybe who knows maybe get some extra ones in there we i saw some of the arsenal youth players that have got theirs in there um some chelsea youth players as well i know ruben loftus cheek who is a quite a gem in career mode actually um just a, just a heads up there <laughs> um and yeah there's a um, Pereira from manchester united as well but that again that annoys me because then i think if they can have a head scan in the game when they are going to be getting next to no game time why can't Gabrielle from Arsenal? So, and I just thought, really sit the mic a little bit. You see a Werribee towards the end of the season starting to get, starting to become a regular in the side towards the end of the season. You see um, Rashford from Manchester United. Mar the Martial was one of the most annoying ones as well to not have a game face. Um, it's just not good enough, you know. You just think like, this guy's playing regular football now. He should have his, he should at least have, it should look real in the game and not look cheap because I think when they don't have one they look cheap. Um, in regards to the Alex Hunter thing, I do like it. I think it's really good. It's a good step in the right direction. A lot of people are like complaining because um, you're stuck with Alex Hunter, which I can understand that a little bit. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just be like grateful that we're finally seeing what EA can do, and let's look forward to um maybe FIFA 18 and being able to actually fully create your own player and put them in a story time like type of thing but um yeah i just do have to say it's it's a good step in the right direction a lot of people are like oh it's it's been a long time coming though but we've just kind of i think we've just got to kind of be grateful that it's actually happened it's actually happening look forward to it play it and then we can we can uh, get a good idea of what you know EA is starting to do now. So EA finally listening to us and and um, making a making some some progress and trying to you know I think obviously over the like recent years they've kind of annoyed us quite a bit because sometimes they've just added stuff into the games which that have been good but all at the same like haven't necessarily been what we've asked for um so finally i think to be listened to a bit is, is good so um yeah it's great and um yeah i think i'm gonna end on that note so on a positive note there um so this has been more of my perspective but um 
obviously like, get involved in the comments down below and i'll probably do a little follow-up to this and and who knows maybe make it a series if we get enough feedback so yeah let me know in, in the comments down below on the kind of stuff that you want to see i'm gonna go speak to a couple of uh, gfx people and see what they can make as well and we can see uh we can go over different things and yeah we could make um uh, make a little series out of this so uh, thank you for watching i'm sorry that i don't look too good today i've I went out yesterday and like today is just kind of a chill day, uh, yesterday was like bloody manic um, so yeah today is just a chill day, I thought I'd just record this I did actually film this yesterday, uh, truth be told but for some reason my, the audio and the, the what do you call it, the audio is, it's out of sync basically the audio is with the actual uh, camera footage so apologies about that but yeah hopefully uh, not all of it's like that so hopefully this one isn't so uh, yeah uh, yeah hope you all enjoyed the video and um, with that being said yeah hit the like button if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't done so already and drop a comment get involved with the series if you're interested that is of course um, and we can yeah I'll, I'll go over all of your comments I'll use them in the video like put them on on the screen here somewhere around here somewhere and uh, elaborate from your comments and stuff and we can get probably get some controversial opinions in there as well so yeah I will uh, I'll see you all soon thanks for watching